Today is Friday, February 26th, 2021. This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. We're here on the Finger Lakes Trail. Where if I ever come again in winter, it's time to invest in some snowshoes. Whew. The snow has gotten deep, deep here since the first time I filmed updates on this trail. The trail itself is packed down. I went off the trail a little while ago and it's up to my hips, which is really just too deep to walk through in boots. We may cut that. We'll see. Anyway, onward. So I said in the daily update yesterday that one of the places that I found beloved community that I find beloved community, present tense, is in this little pandemic pod that Stacy and I and Ailish and my parents have formed over the last four months. But the other place is the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. You know, this is now four years, four congregational years. since I started here. I remember a little over four years ago, sitting in our Bronx apartment with Stacy, reading this 30 page long congregational description. from this church and reading it and reading it and thinking, my goodness, what an amazing group of people, what an amazing community they've built out in Nebraska. What would it be like to move there? The median ministry in Unitarian Universalism is about six years. But it's what's called a bimodal distribution. There's a lot of ministries that last for two or three years, and there's a lot of ministries that last for a long time. And so you kind of know, after two or three years, the place of your deep gladness meets the congregation's joy in a healthy way. I am so happy to serve in Lincoln, Nebraska. So there are moments of belovedness almost every single day that I'm at work. From a brief check-in about how a beloved congregant is handling the pandemic. To gathering the whole congregation around a table before worship, before we went remote and asking people to go around in a circle and share their pronouns as part of their introductions. 
and having sure some people laugh some people a little confused but everybody's saying you know what this is a way that we make people feel welcome and that is a part of who we want to be as a community you know i feel it every time i get an email from a lay leader at two o'clock in the morning about something we've been working on together <sighs> and I know because of the timestamp that whatever the challenge is for the congregation <sighs> that I'm not the only person staying up into the wee hours of the night thinking about it <sighs> every time we have a staff meeting. And light a chalice and say, this is a meeting of the staff of a religious institution. And we take that part seriously. There are so many avenues of belovedness in our community. So here's the bittersweetness for me for today. You know, if you've been watching these updates for the last two months, just how much I love this how much this landscape of the North Woods in winter is the landscape of my heart. How good it has been for my soul to walk around these woods and share them with you. And this is the last one of these updates in the woods for a while, at least these woods. As you're watching this on Friday, we are driving. If we've guessed right, as you're watching this on Friday at noon, we'll probably be somewhere in the vicinity of Erie, Pennsylvania. on our way back to Nebraska. And here's the bittersweetness for me. As much as I love this, this place, this quiet of the woods, this beauty, I also cannot wait to come home. <laughs> oh, yikes, there's probably a metaphor here, but the trail just bumped up against this logging road, which I've known it does, but there's been enough snow that I can't actually pick up where the trail goes from here. So I'm going to pause the camera for a little bit and pick it up when we're back on the trail. Well, there's a metaphor here. I went a little ways off the trail because I was following where people had already gone. There's one of the white blazes of the finger trail. And the next blaze is over across that creek and down into the woods there. And looking at the snow, it looks like nobody's been down that path in a month. Which means that the trail is not blazed unless you have <laughs> snowshoes or skis and I have neither right now. So 
the metaphor is pretty blunt. It is time for me on this trail and in these updates to turn back from that trail and head home. It is beautiful though. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. There's a blue jay down there in the snow. Ah. All right. Home. So on Friday, we were driving back to Lincoln, Nebraska. On Monday, sounds like, unless things really change with Lincoln's COVID-19 numbers, we'll put Elish back in daycare. Sometime next week, not sure when. I'm gonna head into 6300 A Street and do two things. Record a sermon in our sanctuary and then look at our sanctuary and look at my office and say, what do we need to get this ready? It has been a long, long year, beloveds. No pretending that it hasn't been. We've seen beauty along the way. us have had time for quiet contemplation. Some of us haven't had a moment away from children or need or want in 12 months. A lot of us, most of us, have had, it feels like both of those things. I don't know when this will end. I've said that on updates plenty of times. But I do know that as we come to the year mark, we're closer to the ending than we are the beginning. And that is a comforting thought. I am as we do on Friday is going to leave the camera running here for the rest of this walk. I kind of doubt I'll say much. We'll see as I get closer. But just in case you want to hang out for a little while longer, we'll let the camera play as we start to head home. Thank you. Turns out I'm not ready to turn off the camera. Because here's the other thing that I feel compelled to say at the end of this sojourn in upstate New York. There are about 50 people who religiously, uh haha. -huh, watch these videos every day, every afternoon, they go live. 
and YouTube doesn't actually tell me who those 50 people are. <laughs> I imagine that most of them are probably members of the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, but I have no idea. So you, if you are one of those 50 people, thank you. It's really a special thing to get to share these places with folks from around the country. To get the, to share the experience of being a church in the midst of pandemic. <laughs> to share the experience vicariously of stepping on a rock under three feet of snow and having a very slow motion fall down onto your butt. It's good to be together. It's good to share this time with you. So thank you. We'll have more conversation on this down the road in daily updates, but one of the things that I've been thinking about a little bit is what form this project takes going forward. It's really had a couple different lives. When we started, it was simply a way to get out updates, very literal updates to everybody. <laughs> the first daily update was Friday. Let's see. It's been March 14th last year. <sighs> From what's now Stacy's office in my house. Announcing that the board had met the night before, the safety team had met the night before, and the coming Sunday would be the last one for a little while in our building. So they went through a period at the beginning of the pandemic where they were just informational updates. And then as the summer went on, They became sermonettes. We take one topic and write about it. And then this fall and especially this winter, they become more free flowing as I record four or five of them at a time often walking out here. It has helped me feel like I'm in dialogue with the congregation, even though it is a rather one-sided dialogue. So I don't know yet what the next version will be. Don't know if this will stay daily forever. If we'll record trailers for congregational worship services and updates. Who knows? But for this piece of it, this piece that has been the series of Reverend Sinclair walking through woods on a snowy afternoon. If you have been a part of it, thank you.